got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Big insurance has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Big insurance has got to go. I haven't had health insurance in 12 years. I've been lucky, so it would be nice to have that coverage and not have to worry anymore. Well, I'm okay because I'm on Medicare, <laughs> but I was without uh, health insurance for a number of years. It was very frightening, really frightening, um, but I just couldn't afford it. So I gambled and I was lucky, but I know people who haven't been as lucky. And we were able to get the Healthy New York which is a subsidized, supposedly low-cost insurance program, so we do have coverage. It's a basic coverage. And the amount of that coverage, the premium, has risen to $523 a month for my wife and I, which is almost what our mortgage payment is. This is a monster. You got any money there? <laughs> no, okay, look, you pay, you're not getting anything, all right? This monster represents big insurance. Big insurance it is a monster. It's um, profits over people. It's um, preventing us from having real reform and it's denying people coverage when they're um, very sick and need it most. I'm 69, I shouldn't care, but I do. 45,000 people die. Tell, tell One about... every 12 seconds for lack of health care. I'm a small business owner and I laid off all my helpers several years ago because health insurance was one of the main reasons that I decided I couldn't afford to hire anybody anymore. It was, it was doubling some years, the actual cost of it. Most years it went up about 20%, but when you think about that, nobody's income goes up more than 2 or 3% a year if you're lucky. My husband is on Social Security, so we, we can't afford our own coverage, and even so it's cost us like almost $600 a month. Plus you have to pay for your meds. There's no dental, there's no eye coverage, you know. It's pretty expensive. So far this year alone, I put out $14,000 out of pocket myself, so. Um, right now, I have none. I have pH, pul uh, pulmonary problems, and also I have asthma. I have a lot of stuff going on with me. And, like, I have to go see my pulmonary specialist now in uh, Columbia. And I have no health insurance. I got to pay out of pocket. You, I would guess, have Medicare. Yeah. Um, yeah, right. And if you didn't have Medicare, what would be going on? God knows. It'd be bad. But these insurance companies are raking in billions, and for ordinary folks, it's just tea bags. And I don't have health insurance, and I can't afford health insurance. But I will never pay, be forced to pay an insurance company if it comes to that mandated. Uh, to pay because I use almost all holistic and alternative doctors. Yes, everyone in my family has coverage. Have my coverage through my employer, and, you know. But if I do lose my job, I'm definitely concerned about me and my daughter. We're joining today with thousands of Americans all over the country who are standing before big insurance companies like this one. You're part of a national movement today. So United Health Group, let me tell you just a little something about them. They're the second largest, if not the largest insurance company for health insurance in the country. And they have been leading the charge against reform. Wait till you get this. He's been there 12 years. Guess what his compensation has been in those years? Three quarters of a billion dollars. You know, if things continue the way they are, will I be able to continue to pay for my health care next year? I don't know. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Big insurance has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho ho! Big insurance has got to go! Hey hey! Ho ho! Big insurance has got to go! Hey hey! Ho ho! Big insurance has got to go! Hey hey! Ho ho! Big insurance has got to go!